Hi Ellie, how you doing? I'm entering a contest for import beetles. And um, yeah, I've got, I have import beetles from other countries other than the US and the UK. Um, I've got a oh, cubicle of Japanese. Um, and I do have, you know, Germany, Holland. Um, I don't think I have any French. I have a couple of Australian. I might try to show a few of those. I've got a stack of 45s, though, that I kind of wanted to show. Um, they're EPs and singles. So I'm going to try to make it fast. I'm pretty much just going to show the cover because there's not much to show with the labels. I'll maybe show a couple of labels, but they're basically pretty much the same. So um, start off, I think this is my one and only Australian 45. It's not really true. Actually, this is, yeah, this is a 45 of Penny Lane, and it's the standard... Um, Parlophone, solid center. Um, uh, it is an EP. Penny Lane, Eleanor Rigby, Strawberry Fields, and Yellow Submarine. A little bit of ring wear on the back, but the front is in great shape. Well, I take that back. There's a little bit of ring wear on the front too. I just noticed that it really stands, really stands out on the camera. Um, that's my only Australian, except I have an Australian box set of greatest hits came with a book and it also came with the 45 I think it's I think that was part of the Australian setup maybe maybe the 45 was part of the US greatest hits I can't remember but uh, I didn't pull I saw that and I didn't pull it out because I didn't think it was um, I thought it was a US I didn't think it was Australian anyway um, moving on I saw one of your uh, earlier posts today and I was surprised to see you have a 12 inch uh, album version of this cover that's uh, articulated. It's, uh, it's it's a gatefold and you can pull this center image out. I've never seen that before. I've only had this um, French EP for eight days a week. But it's the same, I'm pretty sure it's the same cover. There's the uh, <laughs> there's the label. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me, oh yeah, I'm, this is my first post since having my cold. So very happy to be done with that. Um, I think my voice sounds a lot more. Compare, go and watch my last post and then listen to this post. Um, another French EP, this is Yellow Submarine. I think this is one I just recently picked up. I'm not sure, I think I did, yeah. So again, basically the same French label, an orange label. And this one's in really pretty good shape. So very happy about that. Um, but I really like how unique these cover photos are for the EPs. For all of these um, import 45s and EPs, here's one. Gosh, I paid $3.75 for this way back when. And not back in the 60s, but back, I think, probably in the 80s. Probably at a record store. Um, great shot from the movie Help. And this is uh, yesterday, the night before, Act Naturally, and It's Only Love. So, again, French EP, similar background <clears throat> on it, and similar label. I could have sworn I had one or two more French EPs, but those are the only ones I can find. Um, I think maybe in my head I've got more because I've seen others I'd like to get, but I don't have them. Uh, I have one German Beatles 45, which really surprises me. Uh, and this is it, something, and come together. And I bought it way back when at Tower Records. And I think it's, yeah, it's pretty much the same picture on the back. The front, but it's a thin paper sleeve. And then the Apple label, German Apple label, which is quite nice. Probably hard to read. One of these days I'll get back to making posts. That's really hard to read. <laughs> I'll get back to making posts on my um, on my uh, HD camera that's separate. This one's built into my Mac, and I just it's just so much more convenient to use this. And the resolution is not quite as high, so it doesn't take quite as long to upload. Uh, that's kind of nice. Um, now we're going to start with a big chunk of Japanese seven-inch discs. Uh, this one is early, early Beatles. Uh, this is with um, Tony Sheridan, "Ain't She Sweet" and "Cry for a Shadow." Japanese pressing on the Polydor label. Let me pull this one out because there's a matching one that goes with it and it's going to look pretty much the same. 
but here's here's the back of it, interestingly enough. And, well, actually, oddly enough, that would be... And then you flip it over that way, but as you can see, it's just the uh, kind of the standard Polydor label. Japanese pressing, however. So I got these a long time ago as well, way back when. And another one that goes with, which is my Bonnie and the Saints. So these two kind of go together. And again, a similar background as you saw uh, backing back uh, artwork as you saw before. Uh, these are in no particular order. Um, there are going to be some EPs. There are going to be singles. And um, but they're all Japanese for right now. Uh, this is uh, you're gonna hide your you're gonna lose that girl and tell me what you see. Another shot from the film Help on the cover. It's pretty cool. And straightforward. And the back is quite plain, rather austere. Toshiba EMI sleeve to fit it in, and then this is on the EMI Odeon label. I'll pull this one out here. Some of these are each are a little bit different, but I'll go ahead and show that so you can get an idea of Japanese label for EMI Odeon. That's how it looks. Okay, next one is, this is part of a series, and I've seen this series before. I've only got a couple, maybe just this one, I'm not sure, but um, this is number 11 in the series. This is We Can Work It Out and Day Tripper. Uh, I always try to grab a copy of We Can Work It Out if I don't have the 45, and if, especially if there's a picture sleeve, if it's something different just because that's probably my favorite Beatles song, and um, it's just sort of, you know, I, I, there's no way I can get every single picture sleeve, every single country. But if I focus on one, which would be my favorite song, we can work it out, that's a little bit more manageable. So, <laughs> um, again, very similar to this 45, but I don't think, yeah, this 45 wasn't part of the series. This was part of a series, and this is, like I said, has a little number up top here that says it's number 11, so... Again, that'd be nice to find more of those. <clears throat> Picked up. I've been picking up a couple of EPs, which are pretty cool. This one is really nice. Um, love this cover. This is out in a couple of different ways. One's got an apple on it. Uh, one's on the Odeon EMI label. This is the Odeon EMI label. Uh, what's nice is this is just a great, like pre Sergeant Pepper, uh, like, like bridge between. Um, Revolver and Sgt. Pepper, it's got, well, it's got Strawberry Fields, Penny Lane, Good Day Sunshine, and then it has Bad Boy, which doesn't fit with the other three at all. Um, <laughs> it's kind of strange. It just doesn't fit, and I uh, don't quite understand why they did that, but, and again, it's that nice inner sleeve, and there's that EMI label, so, EMI Odeon label. And uh, the back, lots of information there if you can read Japanese. I cannot, unfortunately. Not that I would be opposed to. It would be interesting language to learn. Difficult as well. Uh, one day. Who knows? So here's another one on the Odeon label. This one is Paperback Writer, Norwegian Wood. We can work it out and drive my car. Pretty cool EP there. Great collection of songs. Another great photo that you normally don't see on a... 45 sleeve or an EP sleeve. Slightly different Odeon label, so I'm going to pull it out and show it. Uh, the back side is very similar to, similar to the other. It lists the songs and then has a lot of text written in Japanese. But here is a very different, probably an earlier Odeon label. So, and 33, is it 33 and a third? I think it might very well be. So yeah, that's, I'm trying to see if there's anything different on this, I don't think so. 
said I was going to just fly through these, and I'm not. I'm stopping to get detail and stuff. I just wanted to sort of show the covers. That's really what's interesting here. Um, I'm always trying to find a good deal on the Japanese pressings. and um, Sometimes you can find them, sometimes you can't. That was, that's a great photo for a cover for a 45 sleeve. And again, this one's on, as you can see, the Apple logo. Looks like it was uh, printed over the top of, they cut it into the top of the EMI Odeon label, quite possibly, because it just looks like it's on a black square. So quite probably that's what they did with the artwork. This sleeve actually opens up like a gatefold, has more information on it. Apple logo on the back. The Apple sleeve that it goes in. And then straightforward the Apple label and yeah guess which song that is we can work it out <laughs> so there's that guy how can I put this back together again oh, just like this if I don't put these back together as I show them um, I'll have a small nervous breakdown after I make this video so this is gonna be I'm gonna aim for 15 minutes probably not gonna make it <laughs> Here's another uh, EP, Yellow Submarine, Taxman, Here, There, and Everywhere, and Your Bird Can Sing. So this is a nice revolver, uh, mini revolver album, uh, but <laughs> not exactly the revolver era photo, though. So, and again, it's the uh, EMI Odeon, the smaller EMI Odeon logo on the label. Uh, and finally, for the Japanese pressings, um, there's a whole series of the Japanese albums, the e EAS, I believe that's what it is. Let me show this. It's the uh, flag series. It's like this on the albums, and they're all numbered. And one of the oddities is they did... Um, they did do Magical Mystery Tour as a 12-inch, but then they also did, for the 40th, I think it was the 40th anniversary? 30th anniversary, they released, um, this, is a, this is another series of 12-inch albums that came out with this gold um, OB with the uh, flags. But this is the only uh, release with that kind of, uh, of that series of the um, Magical Mystery Tour double EP. So that original e EAS, this kind of goes with it, it kind of doesn't. Um, it actually doesn't. But it's, it's, they never did release this with that series. It's you know, got the OB on it, it has the gold on it, which makes it go with the 30th anniversary releases. But it does have the flag, so it's kind of a flag series. But I, I, when I saw this once, I always wanted it, and finally, finally got a decent price on one. But straightforward, um, interior, pretty much the same. Two discs, as you can see, it's on the small OD, EMI Odeon label. And so that's that's something I got recently and was very happy to get. So we might be able to do this under 15. Uh, the rest of these, uh, uh, Joe, if you're watching, I hope you are. Um, I know you showed a number of these. I picked these up a long time ago. Some at Tower Records, I think, but some looks like at Peaches for just a couple of bucks a piece. I still have the sticker on here, but these are the Mexican EPs. These are really interesting. Um, not only because of the artwork that's on them, but also the selection of songs. So here's one for Dan Life, I Am the Walrus, Strawberry Fields Forever, Come Together. So it's a John Lennon EP, just from like from the mid mid part of the Beatles career through to the end. So very interesting. Back is the same photo, pretty much basically the same thing. And let's see real quick. Um, yeah. This is, that's, remember now, they have a really interesting uh, Apple label as well, which is always fun. It's going on the dark side. That's not too bad here. Actually, it shows up pretty good here. But, um, yeah, I grabbed a, hand, a bunch of these. And, and since then, I've seen, uh, Joe, you picked up a couple. I was going, I don't have that. I don't think I have that. I don't think I have <laughs> So now I'm sort of obsessed with, finding some more of these that I don't have. So I'm going to figure out which ones um, there are still yet to be picked up. Uh, here's another one. This is the one for George. Becomes a sun for you blue while my guitar gently weeps. And 
piggies, spelled very strangely. But uh, And then it's uh, an outtake photo from the photo session that was done for the, um, well, it wasn't done for the Hey Jude album, but Hey Jude ended up using a couple of shots from this photo shoot. So um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a similar, yeah, similar Apple logo, uh, Apple label, and pretty much the same photo on the back. Is it the other side? Go. Ah, I'm over 15 minutes. Oh well. Sorry, folks. You know, the only Beatle people are they're going to be the ones that are going to watch us anyway. So, uh, this is a Beatles Let It Be paperback writer, Dig It, and Lady Madonna. Um, yeah, they're they're close. I was thinking that they weren't, but it's a great cover that they've got there. See it a little bit better there without the price tag. And again, it's like two dollars. That's what I paid for this. Back, back in the eighties, I think. Um, yeah, these look. I swore I bought some of these at. Um, I guess I'm thinking of the German albums I bought at Paul McCartney and Wings. I got a bunch, of, not albums, but forty fives and yeah, forty fives. I got a bunch of the, a handful of those at um, and Japanese pressings. For Paul McCartney and Wings at uh, of 45s at Tower, and these apparently all came from uh, Peaches. So here's um, this is kind of strange. Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. All you need is love across the universe. Ballad of John and Yoko. So all John stuff, but just kind of across the board there. And it's a photo from you know, Let It Be Here. So very kind of interesting. Similar uh, similar label and uh, same artwork in the back. Some of these only go in one direction, which means it's not cut square. Just a couple more here and I'll be done. Uh, this is uh, Old Brown Shoe, Blue Jay Way, Long, 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 and Savoy Truffle. Joe, I think you showed this one. I didn't know if I had this one, and here it is, I have it. So, And then it's the Magical Mystery Tour photo, which is great. <laughs> And again, I think it's the same, yeah, same information on the back. Uh, within you, without you, the inner light. Um, love to you, I want to tell you. So another George compilation with the Sgt. Pepper cover. It's kind of nice. And these are all Mexican EPs. And finally, out of order. Well, I don't know if there is an order to any of these, but... Um, is the help, uh, EP help the night before you're going to lose that girl and another girl. So at least this sticks to a particular album, which is, I think the only one that does, I'm not sure. I don't recall. And also has the, uh, Apple label or a capital label up top. So this is slightly different. Yeah, it's still a Mexican EP. Still from uh, Mexico, the EP, but in this case, the label is very different. See there, uh, because it's bright, it's not going to show up very well. So I hold it at an extreme angle. Arr, that works, kind of. Uh, well, extended 45 play. Mexico. So, anyway, that's that's it for right now. Uh, Nineteen minutes. I will probably keep it to just this. I could do some twelve-inch singles or twelve-inch albums, but um, maybe I'll post a second post here if I get a chance to. Because right now this is twenty minutes, and thank you for anybody who's stuck around to watch this. <laughs> Hardcore Beetle fans only. Anyway, thanks a lot. Thank you, Ellie, for having the contest. I apologize for taking so long to um, participate in it. Uh, when I said I would happily take part in it, uh, I then came out with that cold. I made a post, and I sounded horrible, and I just didn't want to make any more posts until I felt better and sounded better. And that would be today. So anyway, thank you. Congratulations on um, uh, 
hopefully getting more subscribers. Uh, I don't know if this is a subscriber contest or not. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But I think it was just you just wanted to have a contest, so good for you. Um, but I hope you get more subscribers out of this and uh, more people to watch your channel because we've got some really interesting uh, music there. And I, I see a lot back there, and I, I, I'm wondering, is it all Beatles? Or is there, are there other bands that you've got lots of music of? Maybe I need to watch more of your uh, posts. I haven't been able to watch all of them. I apologize. Uh, but I'd be happy to sit and watch just about you know everything you've got in your collection just to see what you got. It's just amazing. Um, and all of those uh, uh, is, Israeli pressed Beatle albums and 45s are just incredible. Uh, I, I just uh, I've seen I've seen uh, albums and 45s Beatle related uh, solo and, and Beatles uh, that are from Israel, and I always hesitate to bid on them or buy them because I'm thinking to myself, that's like, that's way over there. And then I'll buy something from Japan, and it's about the same distance, I think. Only Japan, it's just it's just going over an ocean. From Israel, it's going over a whole bunch of other countries. <laughs> I just imagine something happening to it, uh, you know, being handled along the way. And I've had bad, I think it's because I've had bad experiences getting things just from England. Uh, here they've come to they've come damaged or banged up. Um, Germany things have come damaged and banged up, and so the idea of getting something from Israel is like, oh, I just can't imagine. You know what it would, or, or maybe you come across as fine. Maybe I just had bad luck from Germany and uh, and the UK. Um, so I think I'll I'll give it a shot and see, because <laughs> there are some really cool items. You've got some very cool items uh, of, from Israel in there, just amazing. Um, but anyway. And from other countries too. I was watching a post today. I was just kind of like going, wow, it's just, just mind-boggling how you got a hold of these. They're just, just, just amazing. Anyway, um, thanks a lot, and thanks for sticking around for well, 22, 22 minutes. This is still not the longest post I've ever done, but uh, it was longer than I thought I'd be doing. But let's see. If I get a chance, I'll do a 12-inch post. Uh, if not, um, I got this one done. And I'm hopefully going to catch up on some other posts as well. So take care. Thank you very much, Ellie. And look forward to more. Po <laughs> Looking forward to more posts from you. Bye bye.